Hey guys, so today we are making one of the Disney Queens of Evil, Maleficent. This cake looks dope. I love this style. I love the way that her eyes and her lips pop. So let's get started. And to create this cake, I'm using my very uh, super really expensive cake pan technique. It's expensive, expensive. Expansive? Expansive. This was like the perfect way to create this cake because it's such an odd shape. And because I did it this way, there was less cake scraps. And I love that it's so easy to remove from the pan. I'm gonna take my cake leveler and you can tell that this is an older video because I'm using my old cake leveler. I created this a long time ago. Let's, actually let's see when I created this. I created this cake back in September. Put John Cena's face in it. <sighs> I can't believe it. I'm just getting around to editing it now. Took the top of it off and revealed this brilliant green color. It's green like Maleficent's magic, right? Or is her magic purple? Wait, hold on. Now I'm second guessing myself. I'm gonna divide my cake into two equal layers and I'm just gonna add some buttercream into the middle with my giant pastry bag. It's so big, I could like barely wrap my hands around it. That's what she said. I'm gonna spread out my buttercream with my offset spatula. If you want this printout so you can recreate this cake, it's on the Qualipops Facebook page, which is in the description box. Make sure to give me a like on Facebook. I need the validation. <laughs> I always forget to post stuff on there, so maybe don't like it. That's cool too. Now I cut out the Maleficent shape using my sidekick pair knife. And I just pulled away the excess cake and I was very careful about the middle of the cake because I wanted to make sure that I didn't break her horns. They're very delicate. And I'm just taking my Wilton's cake lifter and placing my cake onto a cake board. Now I'm gonna give this baby a crumb coat. Now the crumb coat just ensures that all the crumbs stay on the inner layer of cake and it makes sure that they won't appear on the final layer of buttercream because you don't want crumbs on the face. If there's crumbs on the surface of this cake, it's gonna look like light green pimples. And we all know Angelina Jolie's skin is like flawless. I'm gonna give this crumb coat on the sides as well, but I'm not actually gonna give the sides a full coat of buttercream. So it's kind of like a semi-nude cake. Whatever that means. You're either naked or you're not, I don't know. I placed this into the fridge to set up and while it was chilling, I was actually watching Maleficent. It's kind of funny because most of the movies I watch when I'm crumb coating don't have anything to do with the character that I'm working on. Now we're gonna have real talk because I had a lot of problems with the movie. You know, I didn't like the way it was directed. I didn't like the way that the fairy godmothers looked. But Angelina Jolie sort of made up for a lot of it. And I think that I liked her as much as I liked Glenn Close as Cruella de Vil. I think it was just like perfect casting. I hope in the sequel that it's like Maleficent and the Sleeping Beauty. And the third one could just be all about Aurora. Wouldn't that be cool? Man, I should be directing these movies. Now while my cake was in the fridge, I created some of Maleficent's details. A lot of her facial features I'm doing with fondant because I wanted to make sure that I got all of the line quality right. I don't trust myself with a piping bag to create all of these features because some of these lines are extremely thin. So I rolled out some fondant super thin. I'm gonna let it sit for about two hours just so that the top of the fondant crusts. I love how there's like black icing on my fingernails. <laughs> it looks like I'm a farmhand, like I just was outside just a few minutes ago plowing the fields and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a cake right now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wash my hands. I'm just gonna start shooting myself making a cake. Then I'm gonna place my Maleficent templates on top and then cut them out using an X-Acto knife. After I finished creating her lips, I created both of her eyes and her nose. Her eyes were so detailed and delicate, so I was really careful. If you like Disney villains and you want to see more, then I've got a Cruella de Vil doll cake right here for you. It's gruesome, and I love it. Now because I don't want to ruin the silhouette of the cake, I'm gonna keep the sides bare. I 
am gonna add a very thin coat of charcoal gray and black buttercream. And I'm just gonna have it climbing the top of the cake. It kind of reminds me of like that forest of thorns that she created to protect where she lives. I didn't intend on that, but I'm gonna tell people that's why I did it, so it, they think I'm deep. <laughs> now on the top of the cake, I am gonna add a full coat of buttercream, because I want her skin color to be like super pale and white. I'm gonna smoothen it out with my large offset spatula, and then I'm gonna place on top a template I created of Maleficent's face. Now I cut out Maleficent's face shape on a piece of parchment paper, but I think this would actually work better on wax paper. I just, I haven't been able to test that theory yet. Now once that's secure, I'm going to take my offset spatula and some black buttercream, and I'm going to cover the rest of my cake. My cake is still pretty solid and cold from being in the fridge, so it didn't actually mess up or smear any of the buttercream underneath it. Now if you notice, I didn't really cover her neckline completely, and that's because I thought it looked like really artsy and kind of pretentious. <laughs> so people think that I'm an artist, but in actuality it's just like spread and butter. I placed my cake into the fridge for about 15 minutes just so that that top layer of buttercream could solidify. And then I ripped off my piece of parchment paper to reveal this awesome silhouette of Maleficent's face. Yeah, it looks so nice and the lines are all clean. I'm gonna add her lips her nose, and then her two eyes. Oh, they look so gorgeous, and we're not even finished yet. Now to make her eyes pop, I'm taking a little bit of lime green icing, just giving them a little bit more detail. And with the same color buttercream, I'm just going to add some detail to make it look like there's magic wrapping around her. I added some detail with a little bit of white buttercream to her lips and voila my Maleficent cake is complete. I love this style of cake. I love the pale skin tone, the extremely black headdress. I think that the lime green detail on her eyes make them look so mesmerizing. If you want to help support the channel, I've got a Quali Pop store. I have this design as well as a whole bunch of other original stuff. All of the proceeds go to helping fund and creating cakes. I'm curious, have you guys seen Maleficent? Of course you've seen Maleficent. Did you guys have problems with it too or did you guys just like, it was great, I loved everything, it's great. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that notification button so you can see everything I'm currently working on because sometimes the video doesn't come out for like five or six months. I hope you guys enjoyed this, I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!